for today's episode, I will be painting a place called Shinobazo Ike, a pond located within the Ueno Park in Tokyo. It was early springtime. The weather was perfect, sunny and at the same time chilly. Just a perfect balance of coolness and warmth. It was my first solo adventure and my first weekend in Japan. And as a first timer in Tokyo, I chose the easiest one to locate and explore. Ueno Park is just a train right away from where I was staying. The park was expansive, with temples, gardens and even a zoo within it. It would take you a day to see every corner of it and just absorb everything. And for a little bonus, most part of the park has no fee. It's so quiet here. Shinobazu Pond is at the southernmost part of the park if I'm not mistaken. It is a huge pond divided into three by two promenades. One is the boat pond, the one that I am painting. The others are the lotus pond and cormorant pond named after a species of bird that inhabits in it. It is said that however the pond was modified several times, it is natural. It was already there even before it was developed into a park. And it was beautiful and spacious enough for them to put some recreation area for the community. There's an area where you can ride the lovely and colorful swan boats and just paddle around. By the banks, there are cherry blossom trees bending over and I could just imagine how romantic it could get during the sakura season. I have also read that during the summertime, when the lotuses are fully grown, it could cover the entire surface of the water, hiding it almost completely. There are also pathways for jogging, walking your dog, strolling, and biking around the pond. And if you are a sitting type, benches are to be found everywhere facing the lovely view of the swan boats gliding through the water, the cityscape peeking over the green trees, and the blue skies that envelopes above. To observe such calmness and serenity is definitely a release for me. It was liberating to just hear the distant laughter of people riding this one boat. For a moment, they were like children enjoying their gigantic toys. After all the anxieties of the reality of life, this part of the concrete jungle gives me that temporary escape. As an artist and an introvert, it's quite daunting to go outside and be exposed to the crowd whilst finding a spot for your art and peace of mind. ability to create and comprehend things, whether I'm good at this or that, whether I treat people right or they simply aren't into understanding an individual's personality. But that's almost impossible to comprehend unless someone is more than willing enough to put their shoes into yours. are most difficult 
difficult to understand because we were created individually unique. And I have to remind myself daily to just focus on the things that matter to me and what is good for my well-being. Not everyone will appreciate your creative mind and art, but it's fine. At the end of the day, you just have to do a little more better than yesterday of what you are good at and repeat that the next day. Slowly you will overcome your fears and self-doubts. There is a quote by Desmond Tutu that says, Do your little bit of good where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. Shinobazo Ike is a place for me, and perhaps also for you. It's a place that suits any interest, whether you're a tourist looking for a beautiful place to hang out, a photographer looking for that perfect shot, an explorer looking for something fun to do, an athlete looking for a good spot to exercise, or just simply that someone looking for a place to breathe and find peace. Whatever you have in mind, it is possible. Afternoon picnic? Perfect. Paint? Absolutely. In fact, I have seen artists stationed on some of the benches with easel in front of them. The very thing I would definitely do the next time. of life come together in one place and it's fascinating how everyone can easily find their own little corner of happiness Bye.